Hi, I'm Josh with Alamo Comfort Heating and Air. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about commercial HVAC systems and how they work. I want to start by highlighting the main goals of the HVAC system. An HVAC system must keep its occupants of the facility at a comfortable temperature and moisture level. Here's an example of one of our commercial HVAC installs. The main goal of this HVAC system was to keep the occupants at a certain comfortable temperature and also keep contaminants out of the building so the medical product being manufactured in this building can be done safely. Also, a HVAC system must be able to supply fresh air to the building and get rid of carbon dioxide buildup for its occupants. Studies show a direct link between CO2 levels and sick leave. A HVAC system must also be able to filter out unwanted contaminants that can contribute to respiratory illness and an unhealthy working environment. A HVAC system must also be efficient and economic. We touched on this on one of our past videos on the benefits of installing an HVAC system. If you'd like to check that out, it'll be up here. Also, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our content on this channel. You don't want to miss some of the content, especially if you are in the HVAC field and you want to learn. So, our main goals of the HVAC system is regulate the temperature, circulate fresh air in the building, filter out unwanted contaminants and dust, and finally, it must be efficient. Now guys, I'm going to talk about just how the HVAC system works. In a commercial HVAC building, there's typically more people and variables. These are typically called loads. The HVAC system must be able to provide a constant stream of cool air in order to keep the building at the desired temperature. Air is collected, cooled, and passed through the chiller or air conditioner. Then the air moves to the air handler where the cold air from the chiller is distributed through the ductwork into the building. Terminal units, or an automated damper, are used to control the amount of airflow going to a certain part of the building. This is linked with your thermostat. The colder the desired temperature, the more air that is passed through the terminal unit. Heating coils are also used to heat the building during the colder months. However, in some cases, if there is a high number of occupants in the building, the heating coils are rarely used. The heating system is also controlled by the same terminal unit and thermostat system. Once air enters a room, it needs to be recirculated and filtered. In that case, inlets are installed to recirculate the air and it returns to the air handler unit. In the air handler unit, a certain portion of this recirculated air is discharged and exterior fresh air is added. This is a very basic and broad overview of a commercial HVAC system. I hope you guys enjoyed this Alma Comfort video. And if you are in need of HVAC work for a commercial building or a residential home, we can service you. All of our contact information will be linked down below where you can find us or at the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the content. And thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.